Okay, welcome uh, to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we start the work on the 76 shovel head. Uh, if you saw the short video that I made, um, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, maybe, by the time this goes out, uh, you'll see some of the work that's going on. Uh, originally, I had thought that I could do the electrical work actually without taking the fairing off or taking the tanks off, and that doesn't look like the case. And uh, I'll show you why. Okay, so uh, I didn't really have to take the fairing off because I want to do the windshield, but in going over the electrical, one of the problems I had with this electrical was this is the ignition to start the bike without the lights on. This is supposed to be, once the bike starts, you turn that on, the ignition stays on, the lights go on. However, in this position, the lights stay on, but the bike dies. So in going through the wiring diagram, this pole here, post here, I forget what number it is, should only have two wires to it. A red one, which is jumped over to this pole over here, and this red one, which goes down to the terminal block. This yellow wire, which is jumped, I don't know if you can see it, to this post here, should not be there. Now, in this position, that is only supposed to turn the tail light on. Doesn't turn any other light on, but the tail light, it's like a parking light. Doesn't start the bike, doesn't do anything. So, in order to try to trace this line, uh, I can probably try to do a continuity test on the front. Let's go over here. And, uh, you know, I could probably trace it through here. Uh, but it looks like I'm going to have to take this block out in order to do this right. I was just going to splice these lines in, but... Uh, I'm going to have to take the tank off, and, and, and if I'm going to do that, I'm going to take the fairing off. But before I do that, uh, I want to do the windshield. Now, I started working on this a little bit, so I don't know how well this is going to show up, but if you look at this side, you can see it's kind of like, I don't know what's on it. It almost looks like an acid rain type thing on here, so I don't really know. And it's on the inside, I think, more so than the outside. Uh, now we did start doing some stuff over here. I don't expect these deep scratches to ever come out. You might have to sand this down in order to get that out. But you can see I did get a lot of this out. So it's actually nice and clear right in here. I only did from this section just to test it. So we're gonna finish doing this today. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm using. Okay, one other thing that I gotta do too is I have to move this seat back. This seat is way too far forward. Uh, and if you look up under here, you can see it's way forward. It should go back. This thing should never touch the tank, which is what it's doing. So this has to come back. This oil line needs to be replaced. I've got a breather for the crankcase that's coming in. So all this stuff here is on order, but that's you know minor stuff that can be done later on. But the main thing is the windshield and the electrical. So let's go, I'll take a look. I'll show you what I'm using on the windshield. Okay, so this is the kit that I'm using. Uh, it's Novus. Uh, so you get Novus 3, 2, and then 1. So we start off with 3 with a heavy scratch remover and then move over to the fine scratch remover. Then use the clean shine and protect at the end. Uh, I always use this too. I always keep this in my saddlebag. Uh, motorcycle windshield cleaner. It's anti-fog, anti-static. And this is Slipstream. Uh, the only place I ever knew to get this from was a Harley dealer, but evidently I looked it up today. And you can basically get this stuff anywhere. And it's, back then it was $11 a can, but it's like $12 at JP Cycle. So it hasn't really gone up all that much. And this can is probably, yeah, it's got stuff in it, probably five years old. So we'll, we'll do that at the very end where it'll last. So I am gonna do the cleaning of the windshield, but I'm gonna do it in kind of a time-lapse thing because there's no point in you watching me scrub this windshield for a half an hour. So let me start with the heavy scratch remover. Okay, so in this kit, they also give you some like microfiber cloths. We gotta shake this up really well. I'm gonna do the inside first, because I think that's where most of this is. Uh, I also have a new hardware kit coming, because there's only two screws holding this in. There should be five, so that's why it's kind of moving a little bit, but we'll, uh, some on this cloth.
All right, so let me get a towel and uh, I'm gonna have to go over this again, but we'll wipe some of this off. I think there's some kind of coating on, on this windshield. I, I don't know. But it looked to me when I took the stuff off before. See, it looks like there's some kind of coating on there, but this bike will never be out in the rain or anything like that again. So I'm not really worried about any coating that was on here. Might have been a UV coating, but that's coming off. Because this actually did the same thing on this side over here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a much improved windshield. Still got some work to do, so we'll keep going with it. So let's uh, let's switch out to the front. Uh, I haven't done this side in the front yet, so we'll. That's fine. I don't need the, the heavy stuff. Okay, so uh, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Uh, I wanna wait till I get this screw fitting because I gotta put pressure on this and it's, you know, if you look at this, there's only two bolts holding this on. It's flexing a little bit more than I want it to and I don't wanna crack it, but I gotta go along the edges up here. But, I mean, if you look at it, I don't know how well it shows on camera, but it is a 100% improvement over where it was uh, before I started, so I'm, Pretty happy with the results so far. I'm still going to work on it a little bit, but at least you can kind of see through it now. Okay. All right. That's going to do it uh, for this video. We'll get working on the electrical in the next video. Move this seat back a little bit. By then, the uh, oil lines should be in and the crankcase breather. We'll put that on and start working on replacing the hand controls. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.